Hey guys, today we're doing a Tokyo Treat unboxing. Now, I've never done this unboxing before, but today is going to be the first time that I do it. Basically, it's a subscription service that's filled with authentic Japanese treats. So it's definitely from Japan. It's straight from Japan, not people who ship off of Amazon or anything like that. So they're authentically hand-picked Japanese treats that are also limited edition as well. Um, there's three different subscription services. One is 14, one is 24, and the other one I think is 34. I'm not sure. Go ahead and click down below in the link if you're interested after you see this unboxing. But this is definitely our first time and I'm very interested to see what's in it. I start my diet tomorrow, so I have to do this unboxing today. You ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, and y'all know who this is, right? If y'all don't know who this is, this Chris. is Devin, Chris. Wow. If y'all don't know who this is, this is Devin. He's been in a few of my videos. I mean, some random guy I found off the street. But anyway, um, he said that he would definitely do this unboxing with me because I didn't have anybody to unbox this with. So, here I am. This is Devin. All right, so <laughs> let's get to it. Right when I open it up, there's things spilling out of it because there's so much. Like I said, I think it's the premium box. So there's a lot of stuff in it. I think it comes with like 16 to 18 things. So... Of course, as usual, um, um, subscription boxes come with the magazine that tell you a little bit about each snack. And this one does. This one comes with, I want to say this is the December box. I got this one late for some odd reason. I'm not sure why. The first thing I see is, what did you pull out? Um. Christmas. I don't even know. All of this is in Japanese almost, but it says Christmas for sure. It looks like a, um, I don't know. It has little, little green things. I did. It sounds, it smells sweet. I'm gonna take a nibble. I expected that to be sweet. It's weird. I don't know if I like it. It kind of tastes like... It has a pickle aftertaste. No, it kind of tastes like chicken and a biscuit crackers. You ever taste those before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it tastes like. Mmm. Hold on. I still think it has a pickle aftertaste. It was a big bite. Oh my goodness. It's, long. it's sweet and salty. Some more it, corn. Some more corn. They must like corn out there. Shimmy corn. Shimmy cocoa corn. Let's see what it says about it. Shimmy cocoa corn puffs. Wait, shimmy. Coco Corn is a corn puff snack that we feature in the past. We got raving reviews about it. People love it, etc., etc. So let's go. Let's go ahead and open it. So I'm guessing it's like a corn, a chocolate corn snack. Cool. Smell good. Sweet. Yep. Oh look, it looks like this. Look like you can put some milk with this. Yeah, it kind of looks like cereal. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I didn't think it was going to be chocolate covered. It's pretty good. That's good. Want another one? I'm going to have to finish all these tonight. Oh, yeah, I like those. Christmas edition white milk. Caramel corn. Mmm. That sounds good. Everything's made out of corn though. What's the deal with that? It's just high as mm. That's weird to say it's corn. Yeah. I like it. I like it. That tastes like Caramel. It I, does. I need this all day. But the texture is different. Okay, so the next thing is Barley's Soft Candy. Okay, so it's... Look like jelly beans. Yeah, it kind of feels yeah. like jelly beans. It's famous for its orange juice. Whatever, whatever, whatever. It has peach, orange, apple, muscat, grape. They're soft candies and they're juicy with each bite. I was doing magic behind your back. It sounds like something you would eat. Mr. Jelly Candy Lover. Give it. Oh, this tastes like. Oh, it tastes like, and you didn't even put in your mouth. <laughs> no, it look. I meant to say it looks like. It looks like something I've eaten before. Look, they. There goes one. I'm autumn nose. No, you're not. What? 
These are legit. It's like the Japanese Skittle. They're 10 times better than Skittles. No. Ooh, that green one was good. It's great. That's better than Skittles. They're like the Japanese Skittles. These are good. So the next thing is Christmas edition chocolate Uma Ibo. Uma Ibo, Yuma Ibo. I don't know. I don't know how to say any of this, so forgive me. Yeah. This is um it's a savory it's associated with savory snacks and then it says it's, it's a chocolate snack and it's widely popular in japan that has to be weird because it's something like i think it's made out of corn right everything looks like it's made it look, almost looks like a twix definitely has oh that's good it has like a a chocolate coated yeah it's like chocolate coated and it has that puffy corn filling you don't like it don't care for it it's not bad i like it it's like dark chocolate though it tastes like dark chocolate just i'm not a chocolate person oh i like the textural differences i'm not a chocolate guy at all i am so the next thing is the strawberry roll candy and it's japan's answer to the Popular American snack fruit roll up. What do you know it? Let's open it. It's 50 centimeters long. Fun fact. It looks exactly like fruit roll up. Mmm, that shit's better. So yeah, it comes wrapped up like a fruit roll up in the wax paper. Ooh, but it looks thinner and real. Real. <laughs> kind of has like that fruity feel to you know that the dots and stuff so yeah and it's rougher it's tougher oh, in the mouth how do you, how do you know when am i balled up i like to savor my like eating in small anyways Jesus. It doesn't taste bad. I don't like the consistency. It's harder. Like I can't put my teeth through this. What? You ate the majority of it and didn't really save me any. Well, it was only a little bit. It's a centimeter. It's not long. But you just said that it was long previously. The next thing is Christmas fugashi. Fugashi is a traditional Japanese. No, show them. Oh yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so fugashi is a traditional Japanese dangashi snack that is made up of gluten and is perfectly light and airy but soaked in so it's not a coat of brown sugar. No, it's not gluten free, clearly. It has a delectable flavor. It looks like corn again. More corn. It looks like it. Oh my god, that looks like a Twinkie, like a burnt Twinkie. Like a loaf of bread. Is it is it light? Yeah. What is it? I almost feel empty. Mm, like, it smells like caramel. See how she just did that to me, y'all? She just <laughs> Well stop trying to grab food out of my hand. It's like a it tastes like marshmallow. So it has like a caramel coating and then you bite into it and it's like airy in the middle like like i said a marshmallow but it's kind of like bread in the middle no corn like that corn puffy i don't like the flavor though it tastes kind of like stale so the next thing is a poochie poochie art gummy do it yourself like i said the premium boxes come with a do it yourself no i'm sorry yeah, the, regular. the regular boxes come with a do it yourself and it's called Poochie Poochie Art Gummy Do It Yourself. So you basically have stencils and you put your own gummy solution in it that they you make it or whatever and you pour it in there and it's fun. I think it'd be fun for kids. It's pretty cool. I'll, let, I'll leave it for the kids. I'm not going to even do it today. So I'll leave that for Princeton and Liam to do. So the next thing is Cocoa Flavor Chocobi. Chocobi this? Ramoon. Yeah. It is a favorite snack that makes an appearance in your box this month. These individually wrapped cute star-shaped 
Ramune candies have vitamin D added, so they feel slightly healthier compared to so your regular candies. Is this supposed to be sour? I'm not sure. Okay. It doesn't say. A lot of people don't want to hear are crying. Maybe it's nasty. Wait. Oh, they're individually wrapped. Yeah, did, uh, what the hell? They look like vitamins. Can you even see that? Yeah, they look like vitamins. That's pretty weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Why would somebody get this as a candy though? They don't look filling. Oh, that tastes like chocolate. What's it? Like a chocolate vitamin. That makes any sense. Yeah. They're not nasty though. It tastes like the tastes like chocolate, but it has a Flintstones vitamin consistency. Yeah. It has the Flintstones vitamin consistency for sure. Yeah, I like that really hard crunch. But it tastes like chocolate and has vitamin D in it. Next is I like some crackers. Comico scallop flavor. Mmm, you can't eat it, shellfish. I wanted to try these. You wanted to try them? No, I'm just playing. Oh, I'll scallop, just... scallop flavor. So now we have something savory. It is a non-fried rice cracker um, that has sesame rolled into them to give them extra dimension. And it is a scallop flavor cracker. So Devin cannot have this because he is allergic to shellfish. So I'll give it a try. Oh! Um. It smells like shellfish. Oh no. That doesn't smell good. Go ahead. No, you're supposed to eat like three of them at the same time. You can get the real flavor. One not gonna do it for you. Let me let me eat this with an open mind. Okay. It's a little fishy. Mm -hmm. And you get that sesame seed aftertaste. My breath does not stink. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I'll be next. <laughs> no, I'm trying to explain to them how it tastes. But just don't tell tell them this mm. way. No, you know what? These are still are my favorite. Mmm. Hold on. This does taste familiar. I like them. I, I'm not lying. I really do like them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mmm. This tastes like corn nuts. That's exactly what it tastes like. I'm sorry. This tastes like corn nuts. They don't smell like corn nuts. <laughs> They're, they have that. And when I say fishy, I mean in a good way. Can you stop trying to smell my breath? <laughs> the next thing is a tomato pretz. <laughs> the next thing is a tomato pretz. It's a popular Japanese snack. <laughs> And it's a tomato pretz. Basically a tomato pretzel. So let's try these. Oh, that, that, that looks like Pocky. Almost. Yeah, it looks like Pocky. So, yeah. You know, you've been dipping your hands in shrimp basket. <laughs> Whatever. Tastes are pretty straight. Those are good. Yeah, that tastes like pizza. It tastes like um, combos. You remember combos? Yep. Whenever you're in the checkout line at the grocery store and they have the little pizza combos. Yeah, these are good. So the next thing is a Magi or Meji Milk Cubie. Milk Cubie. So it's coated with chocolate. I love chocolate. <gasps> Those look good. They're little shiny cubes of chocolate. They almost look like caramel. Like yeah. Chocolate. It's hard. I want to. Ooh. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I thought they were gonna be like really chewy. I thought they were gonna be soft. That's really good. Again, I'm not a chocolate person. But these are pretty good. Yeah, they're kind of like truffles, like a little bit. 
These are pretty good. So the next thing is choco chips, mini choco chips. And they're a portable snack, bite size, and perfect for on the go. They're chocolate chip cookies, basically. So they look like this. They look like famous Amos cookies. I'm big into smelling things. Mmm. Smell yep. that. They taste just like famous Amos cookies. This is a little hint of a cinnamon in the Billy Jr. wants to show his face. No, he wants to show the doggone thing that comes with it. And I wanted to wait last till last minute because it was an exciting special item. But what he's about to show you is the Mokiki with a ball chain. It is a popular, back by popular demand, a cute little alien character. Um, that appears in the Tokyo treat box every now and then. It's so cute. I'm sure that I'll be keeping it because my kids are going to fight over it. It's just in the chair. What's next? Cola Ramoon Candy. It's a popular snack in Japan and compared to normal candies, they have a slightly powdery texture. And it tastes like Coca-Cola. And they don't say Coca-Cola, it tastes like cola. Oh, these are gonna taste like bottle caps, I bet. I don't like bottle caps. I haven't drinking, I haven't drunk a Coca-Cola in about 15 years. Oh, it tastes like Dr. Pepper, not Coca-Cola. No, that definitely tastes like cola. What? I don't like that flavor. Oh. I think if I liked Coke, I would like it. I don't like Coke. Ugh. I think Coke tastes like, like a chemical. This is actually a special item that is featured in the premium box. Like I said, every premium box has one of those little toy things and um, a drink. So this is a savory flavored soda, okay? And it is a cream stew ramoon. It has bizarre flavors in it. And it, and it's one of those Japanese drinks that I think you drop it, the marble drops in it, right? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the marble deal. Open it. Go ahead. You go open it. What do you do? Press down on it? Yeah. So you press down on it? Hard. Hard. Put some ass into it. Oh! Whoa! What the f Seated it. Oh! Okay. No, it smells like Cool Ranch Doritos. Smell hard. Stop! Stop, Devin. Why are you drinking all slowly? Oh, almost got it. Thank you. It's again. not sweet. I don't like it. That's nasty. It doesn't taste nasty. Oh, it is um broccoli chicken and carrots who would want broccoli chicken and carrots in a drink it's like it's pretty gross it's but like, it's not unbearable to where like you can't drink it's it like carbonated it's just like, chicken noodle soup yeah it's like carbonated chicken noodle soup exactly if you're interested in Tokyo Treat, you can go ahead and click in the link below. I'll leave a link for you guys to click on. Like I said, they have three different kind of boxes. So if you're interested, go ahead and click on that link. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Comment down below, hashtag food is life if you like unboxing food videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.